we are looking at a Dutch still life painting by Rachel Roos titled Fruit and Insects. And look how much success she achieved in the painting. Not only in this painting, but Roos achieved a level of success that most female artists hadn't achieved at the time. Yes, in fact, we have to remember her work dates back to the 18th century when art was still a predominantly male occupation. Specifically 1711. We can attribute a lot of her outside influence to her father. Quite right. Roos' father was a famous scientist who specialized in botany and anatomy. This is a time when the microscope was perfected and people were exploring unknown worlds that were invisible to the naked eye. This allowed Roos to add a great level of detail to her work. Just look at the way she painted the fruit. The light illuminates them and puts us in a realistic setting. The insects almost seem to come out of the painting. Roos took a composite study of each fruit before painting them. Most of her paintings were of flowers, but in this painting we see great diversity. The oil painting we are looking at sits in the Uffizi in Florence. What we see here is an autumn scene, a harvest in particular where fruits and vegetables are being picked. There's a variety of corn, squash, chestnuts, grapes, and wheat. There's even a bird's nest with eggs to the far left of the painting. Christians looking at this painting would see the grapes and the wheat and think of the Eucharist. We also see a balance in the composition by the complementary colors of grapes on either side. Ruth shows us through her still life of discovery of the scientific and natural world.